How's it going everybody? It's me, Justin, aka Good Will Hunter, and I am back with another different sort of pickups video that I normally don't do it this way, but it's just getting out of control. It's a lot quicker, and I don't know. I, I just don't feel like doing it the same way that I've done it before. So let's, you know, always try to do something different and just different style. I don't know, maybe something will hit, maybe something won't, but uh, without further ado, here are the pickups from literally a couple of months. And without further ado, here it is. So right off the bat, we have the table. This is the table that usually I try to put a lot of pickups on, a lot of stuff that uh, needs to make its way somewhere else. Uh, there's also some stuff over there. Say hi, peeps. All right, see ya. Uh, what we got? The PS3 Slim. I think I found this for 15 bucks at a Goodwill. That was a pretty good steal. Works, had a game in it. Uh, I had to buy this off eBay. Uh, I paid 27 bucks for it. So, you know, there is a markup for it, but I needed one and I don't want to just have to go walk into a store and just pray that they had one. So now I at least have two. Uh, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince on Blu-ray. I've been trying to pick up all the Harry Potters on Blu-ray because they're totally worth uh, a Blu-ray investment, in my opinion. I don't like to buy normal movies on Blu-ray, so when I can find stuff like this, I'll pick it up. Uh, brand new sealed pack picks for the DS. Don't know anything about it. I think I paid like $1.91. I think I paid two bucks for this. Hello Kitty, uh, Big City Dreams. I just picked it up because it was cheap. I think I might have uh, DS that I'm gonna bundle with a bunch of, uh, you know, girly games, try to sell. Copy of Cool Borders 2. I believe it also had something else inside. Oh yeah, it also had a copy of Jet Moto 2. And you know, they weren't all that bad for two bucks that I paid for both. It's not a bad deal. Picked up the copy of Gorillaz. Uh, what was this? The, the one that had Clint Eastwood on it. I think it's just called, is it called just Gorillas, Gorillas? Maybe. Um, yeah, that's really the only song I could tell you about, but I didn't have it back in the day and it was cheap. Uh, copy of Mario Kart on the Wii. I need this to finish off something else. I have another Mario Kart box somewhere over there and I needed this game to finish it off. It's the big box one. Picked these up uh, in Connecticut just this past week. Uh, we got a copy of Suspended. This is a uh, text adventure game for the Commodore 64. I was really surprised, it's brand new. Um, found this one at a copy, well, I found this at uh, Retro Games Plus in Orange, Connecticut. And they only wanted 20 bucks for it. I uh, figured why not, I don't really have a lot of Commodore 64 games, so might as well. Plus it's got a bunch of other stuff with it. And they had another, another game. They had um, Zork 3, but it wasn't complete. Some Nintendo Powers, varying prices. This is volume 23. This one is volume 53. Unfortunately, I already have these two, the Yoda and the Power Blade. Uh, this one is this, volume 62. And I made sure that these all had their respected, you know, posters. Volume 58, just trying to fill them all in. Which one is this? August, volume 63. And then finally I picked up the Super Metroid one, which is volume 60. So again, not, not too bad, ranging from four bucks to, I wanna say this was the most expensive one at $10. But in my opinion, if you're trying to fill them in, you gotta get what you can get. Got a little Monster Hunter, little statue. It's a... Uh, Anjanath, unfortunately, I fucking hate that one. What else? Touch My Katamari. Some SD cards for modding Wii's. Here. Some cables. Tiger Electronics handheld gun. 
I usually bundle them. I've got some turtles and a 360. What is that? It's connect, um, power, Xbox 360 wireless and adapter. Two Nintendo Wii bundles. They were 15 bucks a peach. A peach? No, a piece. One of them had a copy of uh, Wii Fit. The other one didn't have anything. They don't have Wii motes, so I need to get those. I already had the Wii nunchucks. Assuming they're they're both backwards compatible, hopefully they both work. Picked up R-Type Commands on the PSP, but I already owned it. Wasn't sure if I did. I found an Xbox 360. It's got a 250 gig uh, hard drive and the controller. Looks almost brand new, no games. Um, I think it had a copy of, oh, what was that game? Saint Row, uh, Saints Row the Third. Uh, what else we got here? These are just some games that I'm trying to rip my entire PS2 collection. They didn't work um, for whatever reason. Grand Theft Auto 3. I'm really pissed. Contra Shattered Soldier. I can't find my copy of Neo Contra. I got the case and manual, but I don't know where the disc is. And then Guilty Gear X. Unfortunately, it's got disc rot, so I'll need to find a new disc. But it's got everything else. And another two games that did not want to back up was the Gradius 3 and 4 collection and Raiden 3. I don't know why. They just do not want to copy. So I might have to just obtain those somehow, some way, somewhere else. Um, and I also picked up uh, at 2nd and Charles. I got this blue Wii uh, nunchuck for 5 bucks, And they had this X two Xbox 360 controllers with the charging uh, station and batteries for 30 bucks. I thought that was pretty good, so now I have at least a couple more controllers to go with that. Moving over here, I found some DOS games. Whoops. Found some DOS pinball games at the thrift store yesterday. So we got Crash and Burn. That's uh, brand new. Well, not brand new, it's been opened. But it has the three and a quarter inch floppy disk. This has never been opened. Deep Sea. And then this one. Cyborg. Or cy Cyborg Girl. Cyber Girl. Can't even spell Cyber. But uh, yeah, they're just DOS pinball games if you ever played any. I think these are epic. Who makes these? Yeah. Epic. We probably can't see that. Copy of Dark Mirror Siphon Filter on the PSP. Ace Combat 6. Uh, what is it? Fires of Liberation. The Lego Batman and Pure combo. And then a copy of Lost Odyssey on a 360. Found those all at a Goodwill. She's circling. Uh, what else? And then if we go over here, I just found out last night, this sucks. So I had this, it was all the way up there on the top, top shelf and it's kind of just hanging. So I went to go secure the cable and I noticed that it is fucking jacked the shit up. So yeah, you probably can see it now. It's just like destroyed. So hopefully I don't think this is a normal connection like it is for a regular Dreamcast. Which sucks. Because I was thinking I could just get a, this uh, Dreamcast controller, take this apart, pop the cable out, put that one in. But now that I think about it, I don't think they're this long. So that sucks. I'll have to find out some way of... I'm going to have to find a PlayStation or not, another Dreamcast keyboard. I already had one, but I wanted to have two for Typing of the Dead. So, womp, womp, womp. PS2 for backing stuff up. Currently going through all this stuff. I don't think I've shown anybody any of this stuff, so you're seeing it first. Some PlayStation Underground demo discs. Um, I bought these all at my local uh, thrift store. I'm, I'm literally only missing like one or two of the volumes. So, I'm not gonna go through them all, but the PlayStation Underground, you could subscribe. They would send you these in the mail, um, you know, like every month or every quarter, I think they did it. So, every three months, they'd send you a disc, and it had a bunch of like demos on it. They, they were really cool, I mean, because then you could play a lot of 
games that weren't you know going to be coming out until the end of the year maybe next year so and actually i think it's a pretty good representation of the time period got medieval resurrection pursuit force extreme justice found these at thrift stores uh, bases loaded three i picked it up because i just i know it's a baseball game but ryan sandberg plays it um, it was cheap too. It was like, I think I got it for five bucks. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. Always got to pick those up. Found this cool ASCII pad SG6. Uh, you probably can't see it. Paid a dollar forty-one for it. Not sure if it works, but whatevs. Let's see what else we got. Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Spider-Man, The Amazing Spider-Man on 3DS. Um, this is that uh, DS that I'm thinking about selling. I mean, it's in really nice cosmetically. It doesn't have any scratches on the screen. But uh, I already have one. It's in way better condition. And it came with some games. Nothing good. Dogs, High School Musical, Hannah Montana. Um, it did come with a copy of Spider-Man. And then the only good one was Pokemon Pearl. Those are the only good ones. So I'll keep it out. And the Spider-Man. All right, moving on. Oh, I forgot to even sell this. So it's a workout, like the, the uh, Beach Body, Summer Beach, all that, uh, P90X. Um, if you could find these at thrift stores, I tend to pick them up. You can sell them 30 bucks. I think the P90 goes for a lot more, maybe like 40 or 50 but I don't even know if anyone's doing the P90X anymore because you need like a full weight set of free weights so probably sell this for 30 we got Alien Gate I picked this up in I'll leave this over here the best of REM this is uh, 1988 to 2003 I like to pick up music I normally don't listen to but I do like Mad Max on Blu-ray Fury Road Left 4 Dead 2, which literally looks like it was eaten by zombies, but again, for two bucks, I did not have it. I just do case swap. Resident Evil Biohazard, because I got the VR and I wanted to try it, but I also wanted to play that game. What is this? Gion, Gion Cube? Don't know, I never saw it. Halo 4, didn't have it. Bioshock Infinite, didn't have it. Devil May Cry 3, or I'm sorry, DMC, didn't have it. Again, these are all like two bucks. College Slam, three bucks. Again, it's from the, the makers of Claim that did NBA Jam. Got Frank Thomas, Big Hurt, three bucks. Again, I just never find these uh, games like NBA Jam or Genesis games that are three bucks. So I usually tend to pick them all up. The Lion King, I think I already had this. Looking at the shelf, uh, doesn't look like I do, so that's cool, I guess. And then Home Alone. And I want to say, is that what someone wrote, or is he actually saying, holy cow, but that only had the game. So the games I picked up in Belgium when I was there like a month ago. Alien Gate and the CDI, it's a shooter. It's probably one of the only shooters paid uh, 1250 euro for that and then these oh there's another game what is this game oh dk jungle climber for the ds but these games let's sit over here these games i picked up Pick these all up in Belgium at this one store. It's called Golden Star, Gold Star uh, Games in Brussels. Great shop, um, decent selection. But again, I always go there and pick up Master System games because obviously they got way more in Europe than they ever did here in North America. So they got a lot of exclusive titles like Sonic the Hedgehog on the Master System. Um, I paid about 10 euros for these. I bought a couple copies, so I did buy two copies, one to keep, one to resell, because these 
tend to sell for 40, 50 US, um, depending on, you know, how bad someone wants it. But um, probably gonna do case swaps again because it's missing the tab. But these are complete and uh, they're in nice condition, manuals and everything. So I doubled up on those and I doubled up on the asterisk. Asterix and uh, Ublix or Oblix. Again, another kind of European uh, cartoon. They like Scandinavian or, well, they're, uh, I guess, fighting the Romans. But uh, it's a platformer. It looked really interesting. And uh, I've only, you know, got nine euros for it. It's got, it looks pretty, pretty fun. And I've seen gameplay. And again, they go for 40, 50. So. Again, had to pick it up. This one even comes with like the catalog for upcoming Master System games. And then, obviously, I picked up another copy. And then the only I picked this up for me, they didn't have any more um, or ones that were complete. Again, Sonic 2 and the Master System. So, too good. Well, I got three games out of it. These four will pay for everything that I bought and then some so I thought that was a pretty good find pretty good score uh, I think that is going to about do it so yeah that was everything that I picked up for the last couple of months uh, I'm just trying to mod stuff now get bundles listed on offer up, you know, let go, just so I can get some money, so I can, you know, obviously put it back into the collection, pay off some more credit card bills, because I got a baby coming on the way, so I'd like to get down to at least one credit card payment, so far, so good, we have two, paid off, you know, three or four odds and ends here and there, um, but, you know, obviously daycare, we don't have any family down here, so that's going to be a huge expense every month. Uh, it's not cheap to have a kid. Uh, if you got family that can, you know, watch them while you're at work, that's awesome. More power to you. We don't have that luxury, so we got to cough up some money. So that means I'm not gonna sell any of this. Are you crazy? This is my collection. I wouldn't sell a damn thing from here from any of my kids. No, that's not true. Um, if it came to it, I obviously would, but it's not going to. Um, but yeah, so games, still collecting, maybe not making as many videos as I normally do, but, uh, I am still here. I'm going to leave this room in disarray now that there's still just shit everywhere. There's shit over there. There's shit on the walls. No, there's not literally shit on the walls. Most of that shit up there is shit, so it technically, I guess, is shit on the walls. But, yep, that'll have to do it for this video. As always, follow me on the medias, the Facebooks, the Instagrams. I'm going to be an Instagrams when my kid has a kid. Or maybe I'm already a Gramps, I don't even know. That would be weird. But, uh, yep, follow me on my Facebook page. Or Instagram is where I'm most active. You can follow me on Twitter, but I never post. I do post, but it's only because of the app. So when I post and you see it on Twitter, it's because I post through Instagram, which connects to Twitter, and that's why. So yeah, leave a like and a comment below. See anything good? Like, look at these guys. What, what, what's going on here? What? What? What is this? What? Why? I don't know why. I just kind of liked it. Anywho, keep up the thrift, and I'll thrift y'all later. Peace.